as an arts journalist and the host of Voice Box, a weekly syndicated public radio and podcast series all about the human voice, I've been attending live arts events for years. Recently, however, I've turned my attention to live journalism events. And what I've discovered is that the most innovative of these live events are being produced not by big media players, but rather by small niche organizations that are making money and engaging with their fans in remarkable ways. I've been spending my time here as a Knight Fellow at looking at what kinds of characteristics these groundbreaking live media events share, with the aim of figuring out a model for small media organizations like my own, Voicebox, to better connect with their communities and potentially generate revenue. Now, live media events are, of course, nothing new. The usual thing, a panel of experts discussing an issue before a mostly passive audience, is fine as a way for the big players to gain clout with their users and attract sponsors. But the model doesn't really jibe with today's multitude of small media organizations that have a tight community of committed followers, but nowhere near the same reach. How can these shoestring entities leverage their niche positioning to foster intimate conversations with their communities in the offline world? From my research, I've deduced that the answer lies in creating live events that A, are deeply interactive, B, create immersive, multi-dimensional storytelling experiences, and C, leverage social media to engage fans. I'm about to test my theories by prototyping the first of what I hope will be an ongoing series of live events for my own very niche media company, Voicebox. Although my prototype is arts-focused, the success of live events I've studied by other small media organizations leads me to believe that the model is equally applicable to all kinds of journalism content. My prototype Drinking songs, a night of beer, and the music that goes with it is a live, interactive feature story about the ancient global link between beer and song. We'll have experts on hand to discuss and share songs about the topic, but just as importantly, we'll be inviting our audience members to join in the conversation, participate in the singing, and taste the beers and we'll rebroadcast the event on Voicebox the following week. I've already been using social media to launch a drinking songs composition contest for our fans, and we've received some great entries. And I'll be gathering data after the event to discover the extent to which it generates social media activity and financial support, and perhaps even inspires people to join a chorus or band. Ultimately, I hope to show how immersive live events can play a crucial role in creating sustainability for small media organizations now and in the future. Mm -hmm.